Hey friends, it's Melissa. Welcome back to the artist formerly known as Mrs. That's me. Today is going to go a little bit differently than planned. I was going to do the first of a segment that I'm going to call What's So Great About Trader Joe's, but I thought about it a little bit and I thought, no, I need to focus on getting the weight loss, bleh, excuse me, the weight loss stuff started. So today we're going to do measurements. Do you like my fancy yellow, yellow, purple, <laughs> purple measuring tape? Yeah, I enjoy it. So I'm going to take my measurements today and I'm going to show you how to take proper measurements and um, we're going to just get going. So welcome to my kitchen. I would apologize for the disheveled mess that is the front of my refrigerator, but then I remembered that I live here. So yeah, it doesn't matter. Okay. So when taking one's measurements, wow. When taking measurements, you want to wear form fitting clothing. Let me, my crew of one here. Okay. You're going to want to wear form fitting clothing so that you get more accurate accurate measurements and so everybody can see your curves and your back wings and the best of all I believe I can fly don't be jealous that you don't have wings like me okay I'm gonna come right here and just hit this button okay cool so first you want to take a measurement of your bust and whether you are a man or a woman, you want the measuring tape to come straight across the nipple. And make sure when you're measuring your bust that the measuring tape is sitting straight across your back, that it's not sagging down here or that it's not up by your neck, that it's straight. And that you're not pulling either, that it's just sitting on your skin and you're not like squeezing or anything. So, La, 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 la. My bust is, oh, and it's better to, to uh, if you're doing it by yourself, to get it. So you got to put one of your arms down, <laughs> and because if you're up here, it like doesn't give you a proper measurement. So that didn't make sense, but whatever. So put your arms down, your arm down, and make sure it crawl falls directly in front of the nipple and my bust is 54 and a third inches okay so that's that all right the next you're going to want to do your waist now guess what your waist is here it's not down here where most of us including myself wear our pants it's up here it's the skinniest part right up here so I don't know why it makes me feel like I need to talk in an accent, but it does. Measurements make me feel frisky. No, that's not the right word, whatever. Okay, so you're gonna wanna put the measuring tape right on, well, you wanna drop it, and then put it right on your, the skinniest part of your waist, okay? And don't suck in, okay? It's hard, but don't. All right, and don't pull either. Like, don't pull it tight. It's just gotta be sitting directly on your skin. And then you got to pick up your boob so you can see it. And my waist, that can't be right. Oh, <laughs> it is. Oh, that's not my waist, sorry. Don't get it right up under your boobs, but pretty close. My waist is 50 inches. Mm, okay. And then you can sigh for a minute. You're allowed a minute to, not a minute, but like you're allowed like 10 seconds to sigh. But it is what it is, and that's why we're here. Okay, next you're going to do your hips. Guess what? Your hips is directly across the gluteus maximus. So get on the biggest part of your bum and wipe your eye. And then, remember, don't suck in, okay? because you can't really suck in your hips. But my hips are, and you got to pick up your big belly so you can see. My hips are 56 inches. <sighs> okay, then you're gonna wanna do the upper part of your thigh and you wanna do it when 
you're standing flat on the ground. So, hello. Oh, you're gonna to wanna to use the inches side if you live in America. If you don't, use the other side. But my, and stand up straight, the biggest part of my thigh is 30 inches. And then you wanna measure, some people want to measure their calves like the mid part of their calves, but I'm not really interested because I'll have rhinoceros, rhinoceros, rhinoceros calves no matter what I do. Okay, and then, okay, so then you sit back down if you want, or you could do it standing, I guess, and you measure the biggest part of your upper arm, also known as the wing section. Okay, so let's do this one. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay, so making heaving sounds when you are trying to hoist the measuring tape over your arm is probably a good indicator that one should look into possibly losing weight. Okay, so again, not squeezing. Um, like you don't want to be like, oh, that's my measurement because you won't get a right one. So we're going to do 19, not, nope, well, nah, hold on. Okay, there we go. We are at 20 inches. Hooray! So I'm going to be writing all of these down and I'm going to make a cute little chart that I will put on my blog and in a couple days you'll see the link to my blog. I'll show you. I just, it's not ready yet. So I'm going to write these down along with my weight and some people have different like schedules for when they like to check their weight and their measurements. I myself, um, I am going to be checking them once a month because weekly is a little bit too much for me. I, uh, in the past I, I tend to get discouraged easily because sometimes you go a week with no change. Um, especially when you get further down the road into your weight loss program. I don't know. So uh, I'm going to be checking my weight monthly and my measurements monthly. And all, of course, of course, you'll come along with me. That's why we're here. So next time... On Thursday, I can't talk all of a sudden. On Thursday, I'm going to be doing the first segment of What's So Great About Trader Joe's. And I do hope that you will join us, me, I don't, uh, something's wrong, okay. <laughs> me, you'll be joining me again. And if you haven't already, would you go ahead and subscribe to my channel and hit the like button for my awesome collection of magnets back there. And as always, enjoy the day. Welcome back to the artist formerly known as Mrs. That's me. Wait, the neighbor's yelling obscenities. Okay, again.